I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today we're doing a comparison of Tim Tams from Australia and Penguins from the UK. So we've had Tim Tams before mm -hmm. many a times. You've never had Penguins? I've never had Penguins. We found this in Cost Plus World Market. And these are by McVitie's it looks like. Mm -hmm. And we understand they're very similar. I don't know if we're going to be able to tell them apart or not, but we're going to give them a try and see if we can tell any difference. And then I think at the end we will try a Tim Tam Slam, which has been recommended to us by some viewers. Okay. Because we saw the saturated fat content instead of... <laughs> Having one of these each, we're just going to split one in half and do the same with a penguin bar. Oh, first difference I see. These just come in the package like this, whereas the penguins are individually wrapped. Isn't that cute? That's cute. <laughs> so do they have different pictures on They have different pictures on them. Look at that. Well, that's just cute. And they're all penguins. They're all penguins, yeah, imagine that. Playing sports? Playing sports. Hmm. At least from what I can see. But in a way, okay, so one thing I like about this is if you want to just throw one in your purse, yeah. you could easily do that, whereas you couldn't with the Tim Tams. Oh. <laughs> Little wrapper got away from me. So we'll probably have to make the, keep these separate, huh? Because they look really similar so here is the penguin on the side and Ross has the Tim Tam yes all right. all right oh wait now I'm seeing the penguin is slightly larger it looks like yes but did you say the Tim Tam had more fat in it aha so serving size on the Tim Tam is two okay and what we read for the penguins is just one. Okay. Yes. So, uh, <clears throat> one serving size bar, you have total fat, seven grams, saturated fat, four grams. And this one has total fat, 10 grams, saturated fat, six grams. Okay. But that is for two. Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> As Ross carefully cut them. Now Try we see to. a difference. Hmm. They look pretty similar. Yes. I feel like there's slightly different color on the Tim Tams, although we have had the Tim Tams open. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that affected them at all. But. Not sure. <laughs> so which one are you going to try first? I'm going to try the penguin first. I'll be with you then. Hmm. The biscuits cruncher. I've had a lot of Tim Tams. Okay. Yeah, and I can tell. Yeah, the biscuit seems cruncher. Okay, I interesting. Know. I was going to say, yeah, because I think the only time I've had a Tim Tam is the time we tasted before. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I mean, the biscuit does seem a little bit lighter. Yeah. On the Tim Tam. Um, well, I'm, I'm thinking just crunchier with the penguin. Let's try the Tim Tam now. <laughs> hmm. I'm actually trying to see if, if I might like the chocolate on the penguin a little bit more. Really? I don't know if the Tim the Tim Tam had a slightly more cocoa chocolate taste, right? Oh, okay. Yep. We need more testing. <laughs> hmm. Very close. Really close. I just had the Tim Tam again. Go back to the Penguin. Oops, falling apart. 
Hmm. Do we need to open another penguin? Do some more testing? <laughs> I feel like I might slightly like the flavor of the penguin a little bit better, but they are very, very close. Yeah, they are. They're very close. I wouldn't turn down either one, and I don't know if this is true for the penguins, but I think I said the Tim Tams come in a lot of different flavors as they well, do. which is, is kind of nice, like a, a mint. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. I thought um, there were a few other flavors, too. I believe you're right, yeah. So I'm not sure if that's the case for the penguin or not, because we only found this one at our store. We do see other flavors of Tim Tams, but just because we don't see it doesn't mean it's not available. So, so yeah, I mean, I wouldn't turn either one down, but... Oh, I do like the convenience factor that they're individually wrapped, mm -hmm. like I said. That is nice. I mean, see if you have kids, <laughs> put their lunch. Except yeah, that makes it very easy. But I have to, I do have to say, these are, I think, more widely available to us, the Tim Tams. They are, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, well, the Tim Tams, I've seen these in a number of stores here, not just our um, Cost Plus World Market, but our Grocery Outlet. Okay. I've seen them. And I think we've also seen them in um, Safeway. That's possible. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So you ready to try that Tim Tam Slam? I'm ready for the All right. Tim Tam. We're slam. gonna make up a hot beverage and give this a try. Okay. We are back. Tina was kind enough to prep us a, both a cup of tea. Yorkshire Gold. We're about to do what is referred to as the Tim Tam Slam, and for those of you who are not aware, Tina, can you explain exactly what that consists of? Well, what I had read is that you bite off the top and bottom corners, opposite corners, and then use the Tim Tam like a straw. And then I think you have to eat the biscuit pretty quickly because it breaks down. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a visual guy. Maybe you should go first so I can see how it's done. Maybe I will. You don't think we should do it at the same time? <laughs> I just kind of want to make sure my tea's not too hot. I feel like I should be wearing a bib just in case this is a mess. <laughs> Biscuit is prepped. <laughs> oh, you're taking big old bites. That's well, okay. Too big. I don't, I don't know if there's really a rule that you have to do a big bite or a small bite. All right, are you ready? No. <laughs> You're gonna watch me first? Yeah. Problem is I don't have, it's gonna have a big mug and so I'm having to dip this down pretty low. Oh, this is not working out very well. I should have done another mug. <laughs> Would you like a... Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's actually good. I was just having a hard time because I had to dip it down so low in the mug. I didn't fill it up all the way and so... I wasn't thinking I should have thought, thought that through a little better. Okay, now stop and put it in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> Can you feel it start? Because it gets real mm. broken down. It's, it's good though, huh? It kind of all melts together. Softens the biscuit. <laughs> Melty. Mm. When you're so dainty, you have to be two bites. I was afraid the whole thing was just going to fall apart. <laughs> so I slammed it. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, you did make a mess. So, <laughs> kudos to you. You did not make a mess. <laughs> Would you do that again if no one was around? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. It forces me to eat it too quickly. That's the bad thing. Okay. It's like you have to eat it really quick before it all just falls apart. But, I mean, it, it was tasty the way it got all melty. Yeah. That was good, but... I honestly had this fleeting thought of you, you know, hovering over, burning yourself. <laughs> oh, it's a sticky mess. Like, yeah, but no. Yeah, at first I thought it wasn't going to work. It's like, oh, I'm not getting anything. And then it finally came through. <laughs> I wonder who came up with that. Somebody had to think, 
that's a great idea. Just yeah, bite off hops in. Yeah. So since it is a Tim Tam Slam, did this originate in Australia? Or I want to say at least one of our British viewers mentioned about doing that with the penguin as well. But I think we got we heard more about it from the Australian viewers from our video when we tried Tim Tams. But. Yeah. I think the penguin would be easier since it's a little bit longer. Yeah, I've got to think of that too. Yeah. But we're not going to do another one after we read all the calories and fat count in there. And okay. I think we've already had our daily allotment. Yeah, we're at that point in our lives now where we're checking the, um, the listing of ingredients and yeah, sodium, cholesterol, fat, saturated fat, trans fat, and all that. All the things we love are just yeah, yeah. But uh, that's one thing we can scratch off our bucket list. We've done we've a, done the Tim Tam Slam. We've done the Tim Tam Slam. So let us know. Have you tried both Tim Tams and Penguin? Do you have a preference? Do you feel like they're just too close to tell, let us know down in the comments. And if you like food reactions, food tastings, and food unboxings, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.